Is it time to buy or sell Microvision stock? In this video, we're diving deep into Microvision. Our initial report was published on our website on Friday, June 16, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and get a free price predictions and deep analysis for anyone among 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since May 16, 2023, our system has ranked Microvision as a hold slash accumulate, giving it a score of minus 0.22. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. During this period, the stock has outperformed our expectations, with a gain of 55.71% since we first recommended buying Microvision 23 days ago. This translates to an average return of 2.42% per day since it was listed as hold slash accumulate. The stock lies in the lower part of a very wide and strong rising trend in the short term, and this may normally pose a very good buying opportunity. If the lower trend floor at $3.96 is broken, it will firstly indicate a slower rate of rising, but may also be an early warning for a trend shift. The current three-month trend suggests a potential 99.12% change over the next three months, with a possible return between 75.06% and 255.34%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a minus 19.21% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between minus 76.54% and 36.57%. This translates to a price range of $1.06 to $6.15 after a year. Our latest daily update for Microvision includes the headline, Is Microvision stock still a buy after falling minus 10.89% on Friday? The Microvision stock price fell by minus 10.89% on the last day, Friday, June 16, 2023, from $5.05 to $4.50. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 6.76% from a day low at $4.44 to a day high of $4.74. The price has risen in 6 of the last 10 days but is still down by minus 8.35% for this period. Volume fell on the last day along with the stock which is actually a good sign as volume should follow the stock. On the last day, the trading volume fell by minus 8 million shares and in total, 11 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $50.35 million. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of stock was $8.20, and the lowest price was $1.82. Currently, the price is 45.12%, or $3.70, below the 52-week high, and 83.93%, or $23.50, below the all-time high on April 27, 2021, when the price reached $28. Analysts have given Microvision stock a general neutral rating. They rate the P-E ratio as strong buy and price to book as strong buy. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock and sell rating. The following signals have been identified for Microvision. The Microvision stock holds a sell signal from the short-term moving average, at the same time, however, there is a buy signal from the long-term average. Since the short-term average is above the long-term average there is a general buy signal in the stock giving a positive forecast for the stock. On further gains, the stock will meet resistance from the short-term moving average at approximately $5.86. On a fall, the stock will find some support from the long-term average at approximately $4. A breakup through the short-term average will send a buy signal, whereas a breakdown through the long-term average will send a sell signal. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Thursday, June 8, 2023, and so far it has fallen minus 41.18%. Further fall is indicated until a new bottom pivot has been found. Furthermore, there is currently a sell signal from the 3-month Moving Average Convergence Divergence MACD. 
Volume fell together with the price during the last trading day and this reduces the overall risk as volume should follow the price movements. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, sell signal. Pivots, sell signal 7 days ago. Bollinger, buy signal 94 days ago. Short-term moving average, sell signal 6 days ago. Long-term moving average, buy signal 30 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. Buy signal 27 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, sell signal 4 days ago. The long-term moving average, buy signal 26 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. Buy signal 19 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for Microvision On the downside, the stock finds support just below today's level from accumulated volume at $4.06 and $4.05. There is a natural risk involved when a stock is testing a support level, since if this is broken, the stock then may fall to the next support level. In this case, Microvision finds support just below today's level at $4.06. If this is broken, then the next support from accumulated volume will be at $4.05 and $3.67. This stock may move very much during the day, volatility, and with a very large prediction interval from the Bollinger Band this stock is considered to be very high risk. During the last day, the stock moved $0.300 between high and low, or 6.76%. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 14.13%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for Microvision, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the Price to Earnings Ratio, or P.E. Ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per share earnings. A negative P.E. Ratio means the company has negative earnings or is losing money. Even established companies experience down periods, often due to factors beyond their control. However, consistently negative P.E. ratios may signal insufficient profit and possible bankruptcy risks. In other news, the next earnings report for Q2 2023 is expected on July 26, 2023. Analysts' consensus estimates are at $0.100. Keep an eye on these numbers, as they can greatly impact stock prices. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Microvision. In case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for Microvision is at $4.60. If you don't own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, Microvision encounters its first support level at $4.06. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. The combined average rating for Microvision from multiple analyst sources is neutral. Let's take a look at some recent insider trades. On May 16, 2023, Herbst Jeffrey A conducted an insider buy of 7,492 shares of common stock. On May 16, 2023, Herbst Jeffrey A conducted an insider sell of 7,492 shares of restricted stock units. On May 17, 2023, Herbst Jeffrey A conducted an insider buy of 45,756 shares of restricted stock unit. On May 16, 2023, Curran Judith Meacham conducted an insider buy of 7,492 shares of common stock. On May 16, 2023, Curran Judith Meacham conducted an insider sell of 7,492 shares of restricted stock units. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be positive with a ratio of 81.232. Overall, insiders purchased 7,850,006 shares and sold 782,290 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is set at $4.23, minus 5.94%.
This stock has very high daily movements and this gives very high risk. There is a sell signal from a pivot top found 6 days ago. Is Microvision stock a good buy? Microvision holds several positive signals, but we still don't find these to be enough for a buy candidate. At the current level, it should be considered as a hold candidate, hold or accumulate, in this position whilst awaiting further development. Due to some small weaknesses in the technical picture we have downgraded our analysis conclusion for this stock since the last evaluation from a buy to a hold slash accumulate candidate. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is undervalued. For trading on Tuesday, June 20th, we expect Microvision to open up $0.0600 and start trading at $4.56. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.